Hi. Now, in this tutorial, what I want to do is talk to you about the concept of a statistic. But before we start, we're going to look at population parameters. What do we mean by a population parameter? Well, it's a measurable quantity about the population. And measurable quantities could be, for instance, the population mean. And we use the symbol mu for that. Or, for instance, the population variance. And the symbol that we use for that is the Greek letter sigma, and then we square it. Now, sometimes the population is very large, and measuring these quantities, the mean and the variance, becomes impossible. So what we have to do is estimate them. And we estimate them by taking a sample from the population. And we create a statistic. And the definition of a statistic is that it's a quantity calculated solely from the observations in a sample. It does not involve any unknown parameters. So a statistic is a numerical property of a sample. Let me give you some examples. Suppose we take a random sample x1, x2, all the way up to xn. It's taken from a population with an unknown mean mu and a variance sigma squared. So for instance, if we were working out the sample mean, the sample mean is given by x bar. Let's just write this in. The sample mean is given by x bar. We take all our observations in the sample. Okay, Let's say that's x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on, all the way up to xn. And we would divide that by the number of observations in that sample, n. So this would be the sample mean. And you can see that this does not involve mu or sigma squared. So x bar, the sample mean, would be a statistic. Here's another one. The sample variance. Let's just put that down. Sample variance. And if we just give that as s squared, a small s here, s squared equaling, say, the sum of, say, all our observations, we'll call it xi now, minus the sample mean, and we square this and divide it all by n, then this too is a statistic, because within this, again, we're not using any of the population parameters, mu or sigma squared. So these are examples then of statistics. OK, so what wouldn't be a statistic? Well, a typical example then might be, say, something like this, where we're doing the sum of our observations xi, OK, from the sample, minus mu, for instance, squared. And all of this is divided by the number of observations in the sample. So this one is not a statistic because it's got the population parameter mu in it. OK, so we'll just say that this is not a statistic. Why? Because it depends on the population mean mu. OK, so we'll just say it as it depends on mu. Now, I've got an exercise here that you might like to try. It's dead quick. Three simple questions. For each of the following, state whether or not it is a statistic. So, you might like to pause the video just for a moment. Just work out which ones of these you think are statistics and which ones aren't. OK, how did you get on? Well, the first one where we add the first observation, the fourth observation, and the sixth observation in our sample, divide it by three, and that doesn't depend on mu or sigma, so this is a statistic, okay? 
This one, well, it's got mu in. So that's not a statistic. And this one, it's got the variance in sigma squared. That's not a statistic. So these ones are not statistics. We'll just signify that then with a cross. OK, so I hope that's given you an idea on what we mean by a statistic and how we can tell whether things are statistics or not.